want, we do what we want, and now we're going to go see the giant. Aye. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. What's got you all bum-fuzzled over there? Get going! Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. So what'd you find out there? Wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of those. Son? Right. Lots of luck. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Rota! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants. Well, I can just tell you the story later. Hmm. Be ready!
Another piece of the language cipher. Good. Correct. A cunning one as well. Is that Mjolnir? Did he steal Thor's hammer? Aye, for a time. A lot of these seem to end with Thor killing them. Imagine that. Another name. Come. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers?
No mirror. Why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? It was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the long war was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Well, looky who decided to show. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, Brock. It's talking to me! It's Anvari! Ha! Knew it! He says he went to the Velander Mines to... observe his mistake. But then the Soul Eater attacked, so as he was being ripped apart, he cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And... Then he... What about all his stuff? Uh, huh? Andari had a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools. And one beaut of a hammer. You make mention of it still in there? Uh, you're upsetting him. Your point? You fellas take Andari with you and go have a look-see. If you find his hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. Hey now, don't go forgetting your entry stone. about us taking his stuff. I do not care. I'm not gonna tell him that. Oh! <laughs> 
dwarf was part of his crew. That he died because of his mistakes. So sad. The ring's grief is of little importance, boy. He did not like that. He's warning us not to go down there. Stop listening to the ring, boy. Cannot be trusted. And a traveler. Guard up. Yeah! 
Tough for me to ignore. chest will trigger a bunch of traps. I see no traps. Sounded so sure about it. Shop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking ring. Come <laughs> on. 
Father, please, just listen. Invari's crew did something bad here. He's glad you destroyed his life, and he's sorry you kept trying to trick us. His hammer is just through this gate. a fine hammer. Invari says thank you. Can we keep him? We will talk to the blue one. that hammer? Here. The alchemist's hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah. Anvari always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. You don't want it? Father, we can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. Fine. So long as he proves his worth. Kid's a bit of a softy, eh? Huh? Well, he'll grow out of it. What'll it be? Yes, that worked out. Let's sort you out. Come back soon with more crap you found.
Look, don't be mad, but I've seen those blades of yours before. They were under the house when I was hiding. Is that why you never let me down there? Where did they come from? They are my burden, from a life that is behind me. Well, they're in my life too now, and I'd like to hear that story. Those days are dead. To relive them is needless. How can it be needless if it's the truth? One day, you will understand. I'll take your word for it. Part of his crew? That's a tough crew. And all were his responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility. Does it frighten you? Uh. Responsibility. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. I think it used to, but not as much anymore. Why is that? Well, being out here with you makes me feel more grown up. <laughs> Getting a letter here and there. But we need the rest of the language disc. Like this without the whole cipher. what happened to this ship's crew. So what happened after Odin was cast out of the Odin house? Frustrated. Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since.
Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic after all. Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow with a quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of the good pal Sindri. I'm so proud. terribly touched. so desperate to find a way into Jotunheim anyway. He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies after all, and it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hanged. <gasps> Almost. If we could just find the other pieces of the language disc. That refers to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge, the time he spent nine days a dead man, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side and bled down into the Well of Destiny. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad?
Another name. It's as if they've been made into a memorial to the Valkyries. Bones pulse with magic. It must be Govi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. even a chance. Don't you want to see mom again? Of course I. She is gone, Atreus. You must accept this. 
I do, but to see her again. Just one more time. Why do you believe him? You do not know him or who he was. All of this is sinister. He wants to see someone he loved again. I... I understand how that feels. I don't think there's anything sinister about it. Hope is blinding your instincts, boy. Another name. Here, Drupal. Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder... Perhaps the Queen? Did you see something out there? That tower? I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. Ready yourself!
beach is about here. Right there. We were in the middle of a story, were we? Skadi, Queen of the Hunt, had been lured by Odin into hunting an eagle. When she collected the quarry, she found no eagle at all. But her own father, poor Theotzi, slain by his own daughter. Well, I can just tell you the story later. Can you finish that story you started? We were near the end of Skadi's tale, as the Queen of the Hunt discovered that Odin had tricked her <laughs> slaying her own father. You know what? I'll tell her. You there? The statue stands no longer, spirit. Then my bond to this realm is severed. And I am off to find the real god of thunder. He will know retribution. My deepest gratitude. Off he goes. Brave god. Going to look for Thor on his own. He is a fool. <laughs> 